Upstart Holdings The company achieved unimaginable heights on the Wall Street during the bull run. From December 2020 to October 2021, the stock price moved from less than $30 to $400, an astounding 13.3 times increase. However, the rise was swift, the fall was even more tragic. Since October 2021, the price has dropped from $400 to $25, a drop of 93.75% in value. Here, the question arises whether investors were right when they propelled the price to $400 or they are right now by pushing the price to $25? Stock market is a place of high volatility. Greed is one element which moves the stock prices upwards. Fear is the opposite, which moves the prices downwards. Upstart Holdings is an extreme example of both. Before we move any further, let us take a look at the business of the company. Upstart is a leading artificial intelligence lending platform designed to improve access to affordable credit while reducing the risk and costs of lending for their bank partners. Upstart developed an income and default prediction model to determine creditworthiness of a potential borrower. This means that in addition to traditional underwriting criteria like FICO score, credit report, and income, the Upstart underwriting considers education variables, colleges attended, area of study, GPA, standardized test scores and work history to develop a statistical model of the borrower's financial capacity and personal propensity to repay. By leveraging Upstart's AI platform, Upstart-powered banks can offer higher approval rates and experience lower loss rates, while simultaneously delivering the exceptional digital-first lending experience their customers demand. Upstart is one of the first to apply AI to the multi-trillion dollar credit industry. Upstart goes beyond the FICO score, using non-conventional variables at scale to provide superior loan performance and improve consumers' access to credit. Upstart's model is significantly more accurate than traditional lending models, allowing the company to approve more applicants at lower loss rates. Dave Girard is founder and CEO of Upstart. Previously, Dave was president of Google Enterprise. Over eight years, he built Google's billion-dollar cloud apps business worldwide, including product development, sales, marketing, and customer support. Paul Gu is co-founder and head of product and data science. He is a graduate of Yale and is associated with the company since its inception. Over the past five years, Upstart revenue has seen a massive increase from $66.7 million to $852 million. This amounts to a growth of 43 times. During the same period, net income of the company increased from negative $7.7 million to more than $135 million. In terms of growth, Upstart falls under the ranks of top-rated companies. Starting from the end of 2021, U.S. economy faced high inflationary environment which pushed the U.S. Federal Reserve to move from policy of quantitative easing to quantitative tightening. Part of the policy was to steadily increase the interest rates, thereby reducing money supply in the market. Upstart started the year 2022 with a revenue projection of $1.4 billion. For the first quarter, the company earned a revenue of $314 million and net income of $32.7 million. Revenue was 9.4% higher than what was earned in the previous quarter. However, things were not looking as rosy as what was previously believed. Market has witnessed lower demand for the company's loans, as well as increased risk aversion in a market fueled by higher interest rates and inflation. Upstart, in its unaudited preliminary results for second quarter of 2022, reported revenue of $228 million against a target of $295 million. Hence, the company missed its sales forecast for the second quarter by a wide margin. 
Upstart will almost certainly miss the 2022 revenue target of $1.4 billion. If the U.S. economy enters into a recession, together with high interest rates, we may see further decrease in demand of the company's loans. Another problem the company faced was that it used its own cash of $150 million to fund its loans. This was against the principles of business for a lending platform. Due to pressure from investors and media, the company took the loans off its balance sheet. This was also a reason for lower revenue in Q2 2022. Perhaps, the most serious risk associated with the business is that their AI models have not yet been extensively tested during down-cycle economic conditions. If the AI models do not accurately reflect a borrower's credit risk in such economic conditions, the performance of upstart-powered loans may be worse than anticipated. AI-based scoring system that UPST is commercializing depends entirely on the health of U.S. commercial banks, which seem to be having a tough time at the moment. With U.S. household debt at an all-time high and credit card debt growing at its fastest pace since 2008, monetary tightening could have a strong impact on second-tier banks in terms of the quality of their loan portfolios and the resulting earnings. While the revenue of $1 billion may not be an issue, another problem is that the company's general and administrative expenses have sharply increased from $49.3 million in 2017 to $562 million in 2021. Research and development expenses also saw a huge increase from $5.3 million in 2017 to $165 million in 2021. In the last quarter, general and administrative expenses, together with R&D expenses, amounted to $203 million, highest than any quarter. These expenses are eating away gross profit and putting huge dent on net income of the company. Total employees have increased from less than 100 to just under 1,500 over the past five years. Despite all these factors, Upstart has good value. The company has a market cap of $2.1 billion. Given the revenue of $1 billion, the company is available at price to sales ratio of two times. If the AI-based lending system outperforms in a down market, it will be a true leader in the market. We may see a lot of banks partnering with Upstart to improve their lending efficiency. This is turn will massively increase the revenue of Upstart. The current market price of Upstart is just under $25 per share. It is down more than 93% from all-time highs. Any further downside can bring the stock price in the range of $10 to $15. There, a bet can be taken and Upstart may be considered a long option with a premium of $15. If the system works well, Upstart can easily surpass $500, a gain of 33 times compared to its market price. It may also be noted that Upstart has a healthy balance sheet and can easily withstand a year or two of stagnant revenues. However, all depends upon the success of AI-based lending platform in high-interest environment.